quite surreal, hey? It's very surreal. And very similarly framed. <sighs> Almost identical, mate. You say behind us is our home for the next eight weeks and is how we'll be exploring most of Eastern Europe. You might notice that this is where it all began eight weeks ago. Cheers, Jimbo. Cheers, mate. One last cup of tea. We're back in the Netherlands and a lot has happened. Come on. Welcome aboard Rosanna Airlines. Welcome back to Motorhome FM. Yes, hello. Is this the hairdresser? Oh, sorry, um, my friend said this was a bar. Yes, Did yes, you? sorry. Well, that was an adventure. Fucking hell. <laughs> that is the biggest win. We have a six hour flight ahead of us. In case you're wondering, we have landed and I found us that pub. So get your knickers on. Happily, I've been craving a beer all day. You have to taste it because it's fantastic. We wait for you. Cheers. Cheers, brother. Oh yeah. Chin chin. That's what mama likes. You're good to drive, yeah? <laughs> it's our third day in Slovakia and Rosanna is dying on us. Rosanna Airlines is a strictly non-smoking aircraft. Rosanna smell very bad. He has ordered a tow truck and he's left. And we've got a selection of high vehicles. This is her, mate. Yet to be named. We'll see you in Romania. Slight change of plan, Jimbo. A little bit. This is ridiculous. I feel bad that Rosanna didn't get to experience this. God, I know, hey. I miss that old girl. That's her. <laughs> oh, look at her. She looks so good. She looks cleaner. Baby, we're back. Bring her out, baby. Been a hell of a ride. Yeah. One last cheers, mate. I know, before these cups make their way back. Let's go, baby. Welcome to the finale of Motor Homies. Firstly, we'd like to thank you if you've been tuning into the ride. Man, the feeling we get every now and then when someone slides in our DMs. Appreciate you guys watching. It warms the heart. It like... is lovely. Thanks guys. Thanks for watching folks. See you guys. Goodbye. See you in Germany. I forgot what I was saying. Just east of, no hold on. West, all right, let me go again. Where are we? <laughs> Thanks so much for watching guys. We hope that you learned a little bit more about us. Um... <laughs> <laughs> No, good, good. I'll follow, I'll follow. Okay. Your support means a lot to us and it drives us to keep creating. We've been looking forward to adding up a few figures to figure out how much ground we've actually covered over the past eight weeks. After breaking down those numbers, we'd also like to fire three questions at one another because we've learned quite a lot about each other along the journey. Yep, it's been pretty hard not to. Can you sit in the fuck back? <laughs> Get the fuck down in. It's funny how word just all of a sudden gets you. Videographers. We are two videographers from Perth. <laughs> <laughs> videographers. First up, number of countries. 11. Started off here in the Netherlands. The time has come, folks. We're about to take our little baby for the first spin. I think my heart's only been this fast, like three times in my life and made our way to Germany. We have officially crossed the border into Germany. Oh my God. He said it's going to sound like a sex tape. It is. Over to Poland. Yeah. Oh, big journey for you. A little seesaw, which doesn't look like it's been seed or sawed. We're only staying here for one night, thank God. Down to Slovakia. Slovakia. Slovakia? It's got a good smell. No. Burnt rubber. Right here we have the Toyota Ago. Oh, here we go. Into Hungary. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Budapest. How overwhelming is that? This is the first Airbnb of the trip. Oh no, we used the key. Over to Romania. Where have you been? Mum to Zulbakan in. Hi, Sogatin. This is going to be so cold. And we have no forks. 
We actually went back up to <laughs> Slovakia, but we'll just say next up we went down to Slovenia. Jake. Jake. Heading out for a 5k hike. Drone has freaked out. I've uh, managed to crash it once again. Then into Italy. You're the DJ. I'm the driver. It's probably the best intro sequence we've ever done. Grazie. Grazie voi. Up into Switzerland. Cooking's gonna be interesting. Back into Germany. Rosanna's pub is oh. <laughs> open for business. Mate, this is how you do Europe. And then over into France for an overnight free camp. Yeah. Je m'appelle Jacob. Ça va? And finished off in Belgium. We are by no means experts. One of the keys on your key. One of the keys on your key. Make sure you always wind up the hose because it's considerate. We are en route to sample some Belgian brutes. Maybe we don't look at the price. Yeah, maybe not. All right, and we're done. We've just had our last shower now. Three, two, one. Yeah, and then done. bang, back here. <laughs> I actually completely forgot what I was saying. So what was your favorite country? We've extended our time here and we're gonna keep whining and dining like it's the last day of our trip. Uh, I'm going to have to give Italy the nod with an honourable mention to Romania. Do you think we would be this high up today? Uh, no. Yeah, I'm going to say the exact same. Fucking hell. I'll be coming back. Oh my lord. Okay, let's figure out how many kilometres we did. We had a rental vehicle for about a week and a half. Mm -hmm. So we're going to give you the kilometres in Rosanna and the kilometres in Roxanne, our little Toyota Ago. Let's go. Come back in the cockpit of Rosanna and she's running better than ever. So in Rosanna, we did 5,900 kilometres. No need to panic, captain has arrived. Flight's a little bit delayed, but he's got his caffeine. Jakey boys, time to shine. How many manual drives do you reckon you had before coming over to Europe? Mate, a good handful. Jake! How you going back there, mate? I'm very peckish. And in Roxanne, we did 1,350, which gives a grand total of 7,250 kilometres done in Eastern Europe in eight weeks. What have you lost there, mate? I've lost the Toyota logo. <laughs> Tell me one of your most memorable moments from the past eight weeks. I mean, it's not a memorable moment in particular, but all of the nights free camping were just so incredible. First night back in Rosanna. All right, shall I go see if we're getting signal? If we're getting your power. Okay. Just being surrounded by nothing. And a lot of the time surrounded by amazing scenery. It was just incredible. We have woken up with some cracking views of Lake Lucerne. <laughs> yes! Yes! What about you, mate? If I had the chance to do one day again, it would be our first full day in Italy. We're knocking back Jake's famous oats. We parked up by Lake Miserina and then we just went for an unbelievable hike. <sighs> oh my lord. That is crazy. Okay, on the flip side, we'd also like to break down some of the low points because there were a couple. Oh, it's five. That is five. Definitely getting bogged in Lake Como in Italy. We couldn't have ourselves one day of no misfortunes, right? This was the one thing that just kind of ticked me over. I'm gonna go and see if I can get a, um, so I'm just gonna wash my chance, that'd be great. Yeah. What about you? I think you know that one of the toughest days for me was losing the drone. And it wasn't to do with the money as much as it was to do with my immediate thoughts of the footage that I'd be missing out on. Not a bad view at least. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Uh, the hopes diminished 
when we realised we hit a vertical rock face. Oh, how you want to go rock climbing? Free tour guide. Fortunately, a few days later we found ourselves in the Dolomites. Perfect weather, doing an amazing hike, which would have been perfect for the drone. Mm. But I was still so happy and I, I was just blessed that we were where we were and we were still capturing footage. Oh my goodness. Thanks for everything, Rosanna. She's helped us on our way toward creating a platform where we can pursue our passion for filmmaking. Sure has. Now, to ask each other some questions. Sit down, my friend, and I'll talk you through our 2019 winter range. I would like to know how your idea of traveling has changed since coming on this trip. We are soaked. I think before coming on this trip, I thought travel meant seeing popular destinations and just mainly, and sightseeing, but there's so much more to it. Just meeting locals, for instance. Perfect. Okay, that was huge. That that has also been such a highlight for me, and especially on this trip. Has there been anything you regretted so far on this trip? This has happened before, and I'm not mad at Ferg for filming because you know he's said that I would do the same. Back to the lowest moment I probably had and to do with technology was the drone. Um, and you know, you uh, I guess after that happened, I regretted my actions which led to it happening. But in terms of regretting anything, no, like I got past it. And everything on this trip has exceeded my expectations. <laughs> Another country, another black coffee cake on the side of the road. So much has happened, you almost think, how the hell am I gonna tell my friends about all these stories? <laughs> Question number two for you, mate. I would like to know what goals or ambitions that this trip has possibly given birth to. That's a great question. I just can't wait to see where we can take this and where, what different platforms we can create. We've come up with a couple of ideas of what we can do when we get back to Perth, because obviously creating content there is gonna be a lot different to what we are doing now. But, oh man, this trip has sparked so many different ideas and things I wanna pursue. This is the first installment of our brand new series, Motor Homies. Number two, continuing. What is something you've learned about me? Good or bad? Or both? <laughs> uh, something I know you've learned about yourself, but I've also learned about you is how tough you do find it sometimes. Being in front of the camera and being in public spaces, you have begun to overcome this dilemma that you have in you and you're really pushing your comfort zone whereas before I think you were quite content mm. with your comfort zone. Man I can't talk today but you guys get the point. Let's go have some fun. Let's go. Uno, dos, tres. What was your favourite meal cooked up by yours truly? Hey, you must be feeling quite peckish though. You've got no idea. Now this is a very hard question. This is a very hard question because, well, we didn't buy many meals out. Like I reckon maybe in total in the eight weeks, we, I mean, especially for dinner, we probably bought eight dinners. Yeah. Maybe. So every other dinner was cooked by this guy. Rosanna's dinner service is about to get started. The burgers, oh god, the burgers after doing that hike in the Tatra Mountains yeah. were just so good. But then also the curry. The curry was so good. The final question. This is a big one. And I bet you guys are all wanting to know this as well. Do you see a future with Dual Pixel? And if so, what do you see it becoming? 
Look, I really didn't want to have to do this on camera, but yeah, nah, man, I'm out. See ya. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm here for good. Oh yeah, and by the way, we didn't have any tea left. In case you didn't notice. It's been amazing to create content overseas and explore a completely different side to what we can create together mm. because we don't get a chance to do this back home. That's it. Great question to finish up because I feel like it's a good way to say adios mm. to everyone who's tuning in. Yeah, and again, thank you so much, guys. It, like everyone who's been supporting us and leaving us comments and even just reacting to our Instagram, it's been such a delight and such a good feeling. So we really do appreciate it. And there is plenty more content on the way. Although Motor Homies is finishing, we still have the vlogs, impressions, which we will be continuing not only in Perth, but in Spain, Portugal, and Morocco. Oh yeah, I can't wait for the degrees to go. Let's go to Porto. All right. <laughs> Hands are full. Yeah. See you guys. What an outro, mate. Fuck yeah, motorhome is done.